we got something to do. Fishing line? Yes, that would be strong enough to sew the silk sheets together. Get on it. We need a parachute for some reason. How is the parachute coming along? When it's done, I will let you know, Mr. Narracott. Thank you, Miss Brent. So it turns out you can't actually just have it sewn for you instantly. No, she's going to die before it's made. <laughs> it's Oh no, we pour apple juice on her, and the bees, they swarm! No! <laughs> oh damn, you figured it out. Have I? <laughs> have I really? <laughs> Would you be surprised? No. Uh, I think we should just go burn the hives. <laughs> well, since we got nothing else to do, why don't we just fiddle with the radio? Yeah. Oh look, the basket, it's made of copper. Really? I can't take that apart. Oh, good lord. Let's okay. see, we have... Pliers or something. Pliers. Yeah, there's pliers. What do you know? Seems so obvious in retrospect. No, it does not, <laughs> Mr. Narracott. It does not in the slightest. It's like the developers were aware of how little sense yeah. is made. Perhaps some light music will help soothe Vera's nerves. I'm still on that. Oh, so you got this light music whenever you uh, walk into the lounge from now on. Great. Oh, you're such a handy man, Mr. Narakor. Well, it seemed obvious in retrospect. Shut up, Mr. Narakor. I like to think we could have used those parts to signal the mainland with a microphone. Yeah. But Narakor's got his priorities uh, the wrong way round. We've broken. The I'm game. not sure I can trust them any further with this plan. It is my neck on the line, after all. You don't even like her anymore. And he used copper wire. I just wanted to see if she reacted to the music. Yeah. I mean, he allegedly did that for her. I suppose you could have done it earlier, maybe? I don't know. Breaking news! It seems that people have gone missing on an island. Oh, dear. <laughs> the greatest the murder mystery of all time! <laughs> You've got nothing doing. I was kind of thinking of something else to do because... Well, we got to wait until the parachute is made. Yeah. Well. So let's see if it's been sewn in the two minutes it took for us to do that. <laughs> it's just to kind of leave the room and enter again. Oh, your parachute is ready. Mr. Once Narrow. you once you leave the lounge, you get the ominous piano music back. Yeah. Which plays everywhere. <laughs> Inside. Narrow How is the parachute brain. coming along? It's done, Mr. Narracott. Ah, good, good day, Miss Brent. Good day. Here's some apple juice. Okay. How do you think we assemble a parachute? We have to assemble it. Yes. Combined. Those don't work together. Why? Have to use the hose? That's the fishing net. Oh. I'll try and explain it to you. We need the leather goat harness to ride in. The fishing but net is to hold us to the sheet, but we're missing one vital component. Do you know what we missed when we were wandering around the house? Bird? Yes, no, actually. We didn't miss the bird. <laughs> you remember that telescope? had a stand. We didn't pick up the tripod. Uh, so the tripod is perfect for the parachute, right? Clearly. I mean, when you think of parachute construction, you think, oh, a tripod for a telescope. Sheets plus tripod slash fitting net slash leather goat harness equals parachute. Oh, joy. Uh, Do you see why I'm making Lord. you watch this video rather than like how you solve it with me? Adventure logic is ridiculous. It just ah. Uh... <laughs> First time we filled that up works. all four. Just barely. <laughs> really? <laughs> that doesn't hey, this make is sense. DIY parachutes with Mr. Narakot. Maybe we can jump off the roof with the parachute. It's going to be pretty high up. I reckon we got to jump off the cliff. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. Just jump off the first floor balcony. <laughs> I have a feeling it won't work. It's a good way to like say, so long suckers! <laughs> because we'll fly over pretty much everyone on the way here. <laughs> just about everyone with the exception of Vera and maybe Justice Walgrave uh, is outside at the moment. There's Mr. Walgrave. He's quite content, isn't he? He's yeah. very sure of himself. He told us to try and escape the island. I don't think our parachute will hold both us and him. Oh, we're not uh, we're not taking anyone with us. Screw those guys. Yeah. Done nothing but die on us since the very beginning. Shameful behaviour. Lombard did mention like I'll parachute uh, I'll pilot the parachute for you or something like that. So I think he was joking about how like 
you give me the parachute and I'll give you beer or something. Something like that, aren't they? He's a funny man, Mr. Bonnard. Damn, if we escape the island, do we lose the love triangle? Oh no, whatever shall we do? Dun dun dun. We should always try and 100%. And for all the insane troll logic we've just been through, it's the only way to progress the game. Jump off the cliff. Until you build the parachute, you can't advance the storyline. Ah. Uh, I don't. What if we don't want to escape? We haven't solved the mystery. I mean. Basically, you have to try to give up to win. Yeah. Oh, good. We had to go through that interminable process of trying to get off the island. Oh, dear. Well, here's hoping the puzzles get a bit more lenient later. <laughs> I doubt it. Ah, here we go. And thus ends the I can't say I'm ecstatic about this enterprise, but here goes nothing. Escape! <laughs> Oh yes! Animation! Fantastic! Look at him go! Look at his little handy parachute. <laughs> Gee, the wind is blowing the opposite direction. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that is fantastic. And he's found a bomb. I didn't even come close to the mainland. Lucky that buoy was out there or I'd have drifted out to sea. There was a metal box affixed to it, quite uh, recently from all appearances. It looked like some sort of homing beacon. What part of that plan made any Blast. sense? I'm beginning to think this island is impossible to leave. I'd best return to the house to dry off before I catch my death. Before I don't want to do Owen's me. work for him. Wow. Oh. You, Mr. Narricott, are a fool. Why would a parachute lead you to the mainland? Quickly, someone! Miss Brent was screaming. It sounded like it came from the apiary. The apiary? That would be the beehives. Yep. I'd better get moving. Wait, Miss Brent is the one allergic, right? Oh yeah, she's the... Uh, Why is she there? She's the religious lady who's yeah. supposed to die this arc according to the right. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. We hadn't gone around that little path before. No, we haven't. You can actually walk around the outside of the house. Cool. Where the blast is the apiary? Ah, oh, here we go. This way. I've kind of got the island a bit more mapped out. Yeah. We have to come back nice to that. Nice little touch. If you look in the background here, you can see them standing around the beehives. Oh, cool. Horrible. Horrible. Those welts on her face. A horrible way to die. Will you gentlemen carry her back to her room? I don't feel quite myself. What's with this angle? Is this death cap? Six little sailor boys playing with a hive. A bumblebee stung one and then there were five. Another rhyme fulfilled. But why? Why? Surely you don't believe all that rot about her innocence. No, but she was rightfully afraid of bees. Why would she come out here of all places? Maybe Owen carried her. From the front patio? In broad daylight? How could he be certain no one would see? And it'll take both of us to carry her back. There is something no one's thought of. What if Owen has an accomplice? Dun dun dun! I kind of already thought about that. Chapter uh -oh. 6. Five little sailor boys going in for law. One got in chancery, and then there were four. Definition. One I more of us acquitted. Know. Too late. So she wasn't passed over after all. I could have told her that wasn't likely to happen. It's almost more than I can bear to stay in the house. Five gone now. Five lying in their rooms under those sheets. Cold. Forever cold now. Steady on, Vera. We can't lose our grip now. Bleak House by Charles Dickens is a scathing indictment of the Chancery Court until it was merged with the common law courts in 1873. At its worst, cases of estates and inheritances could carry on for the entire lifetimes of those involved. To get caught in Chancery Court literally might have meant one could die there. I can't help but feel that Mr. Owen has that particular fate reserved for me. My time would appear to have come. Miss Brent refused protection, at least what mortal hands could provide. Will you, Judge? Not at all. I welcome it. My days on this earth may be few at this point. 
All the more reason I relish every one. But it was the participants in the cases whom the Chancery Court often crushed, not the judges. An interesting point, Miss Claythorne. I'll certainly have to think that over. There is another point I'd like to make. There usually is. One of us is a murderer. Everything must be done to safeguard the four of us who are innocent. Mr. Lombard, you have a gun. I'll be damned if I'll give up my revolver. Happily, there are enough of us still alive to force the issue if necessary. Oh, very well then, since you've got it all taped out. It's in the drawer of the table by my bed. I'll get it. I'll just keep you company if you don't mind. So... How are you going to kill someone? The lounge music is back. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Light I can't see anything music. of interest. <laughs> that thing you took off the boy. Oh, nothing of interest. <laughs> I think that's enough investigating for now. Ah, uh, a homing beacon. Interesting. All that for a homing beacon. Oh, aye. And another crazy escape attempt. On, oh, and then there were none. 